shed, the shed, me lovely little shed. Might as well get a Chesterfield, a toilet and a bed. It's the only place where I can go and tinker with my toys. Go and find solitude with a bunch of ugly guys. Be break. With your greeting, Kate. Yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> Aloha, Michael. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> how, how are we doing? I got. Uh, you can hear me. I can hear you. And we can see I, you. Excellent. And we hope you can see us. Yes. Aloha. 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 Look at this guy with the shirt. Oh my goodness. Put <laughs> 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 uh, this around a little bit so you see where, where I am. Uh-huh. Uh huh. See. Wow. Wow. <laughs> now. It, it, Michael, if that was one of our, our guys, we'd be we'd be accusing him of putting a, a big picture on the uh, on the wall and just filming it. <laughs> so is that your wow. is that your apartment, Michael? Yeah, this is the view from our what we call a, here you call it a, a lanai. It's a balcony. Wow. Beautiful. Look at the look at the mountains. Yeah, we got the mountains and we have the Pacific Ocean over here. I'm not jealous at all, Michael. <laughs> Pacific Ocean is cold to swim in, right? <laughs> no, now it's perfect. Like maybe Fahrenheit of 75, 72. So this street that you see there, it normally this time of day, there would be a lot of cars on it. Now you can see at the moment there's practically none. Empty freeway, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah, it's, it's the main boulevard along the, uh, along, along the edge of Waikiki. And this area over there that I'm kind of pointing to now, I don't know how you... That's the major shopping center for, for Honolulu. It's called Ala Moana Center. And at one time, it was the largest shopping center, indoor kind of a shopping center in the United States. It's closed. Completely closed. Closed. Completely closed. I think there's a couple of restaurants that work in there. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning, so it would normally be like rush hour right now, yeah? It would be normally pretty busy, yeah. Well, it's lovely to have you, lovely to have you with us, Michael. Thank you for joining us. This is a great idea. This is really cool. Where now? Where are you each located? Where are okay, you? Okay, I'm I'm Patrick. I'm in Froome in Somerset. Okay, and Kate, where are you? Yeah, so I'm in Manchester, which is north. So uh, you got the Midlands, you got London, the Midlands, and then Manchester, which is the northwest. So I'm quite quite far north. Yeah. You're in Honolulu. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say no. I'm I, I'm in the island just south of you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am twelve thousand miles away. I'd love to be. But no, I, I'm very close to Patrick. Actually, I live about uh, ten miles from Patrick. Now, we watch a lot of uh, British television, okay, my wife and I. We watch a lot of the, uh, particularly the crime shows. Are you in any of those places where these crime shows would, would take place? Well, like um, Midsummer Murders. Is it Midsummer yeah. Murders? Yeah, that's yes. that's close by our area. Well, I'm, I, I hate to say that once upon a time where I live was the murder capital of the UK. It's only because there was two murders committed here in the same week. For some reason, <laughs> these the statistics <laughs> accidentally made it a murder capital. I'm not quite sure how that worked out. Just before I moved here, so it had nothing to do with me. Oh yeah, well, it wasn't you, you're sure, right? Welcome to Shed Happens in Glorious Stereo. Broadcasting around the UK and around the world. In today's show, it is the best export they've ever sent us. What about Foster's Lager, though, Graham? Oh, yes, the, the kettle's the most important piece of equipment in the men's shed. Yeah, OK, we've got a three-month-long weekend. The problem is we just can't go anywhere. I've never felt closer and more connected to my fellow citizens. It's so good to see how important the stats are and how much good they do to the man. And when this is over, we're going to have the biggest sizzle there ever was with the hundred below the men's <laughs> Shit happens even when you're self-isolating, so self-isolate responsibly. Mm-hmm. 